Hey everybody, it's Ben here. Lately I've been working on building my garage, and thanks to the help of some family and friends, we got the big work done erasing the trusses and building the roof. Now a big part of why I wanted to do this is to put solar panels on the garage, and I should be able to fit about 5,000 watts up there. Now of course there's uh, different ways to predict where the sun will fall at various times of the year, including using charts, angles, and tools like the Solar Pathfinder. But since the roof now physically exists, I thought let's just take a look at it on a bright sunny day. Now keep in mind that uh, we're about a week from the winter solstice, so the days are the shortest they're ever going to be, and the sun is as low in the sky as it'll be all year. So this is literally the solar worst case scenario. Here's the time lapse of the garage. I've got the camera mounted on a ladder pointed due north. When the ladder uh, shadow points straight at the garage, it's noon. The video clip starts at 9 a.m. and ends at sunset just after 4.15 p.m. So let's watch this again. Clearly you can see there is a few issues. That pine tree is way far away, but with the super low winter sun at this time of year, its shadow stretches all the way to the roof, and that's going to shade the lowest row of solar panels. There's also some deciduous tree branches that cross. And very late in the day, that's the shadow of my house, which is going to block most of the panels. But it's also only really doing that in about the last hour of sunlight of the day, when the sun is already so low in the sky that power production would have dropped off quite a bit. So it's not ideal, but again, this is the worst case scenario. In the summer, the sun's going to be blasting these solar panels all day, and my year-round average should be about equal to how much electricity I use in the house and charging an electric car. For more details on the project, please swing by my blog and check it out at 300mpg.org.